Hello everyone, this is an update to my Lacerate cast on crit with physical spells. Um, I started my prophecy character and leveled up to 77, but it's a slayer instead. Um, I just wanted to get that juicy increased AoE. And boy is it fun. <clears throat> I'm going to show you right away. Um, using Lacerate, cast some critical strike, of course. Increase critical strikes right now because uh, that takes me closer to the cap. Still working on extra crit chance on gear. Um, increased AoE, then Blade Fall and Blade Vortex because those are the two that actually benefit from AoE. I do have Ethereal Navs as well, but I'm using it in a spell totem just for added uh, DPS and the ability to run away uh, on tougher bosses. This one instead gets control destruction because it does not benefit from uh, increased AoE or conch effect, which I also have here, uh, to swap out when I'm fighting tougher bosses. Um, it also gets added fire damage, because why not? Other than that, there's not really all that much. I'm using Orb of Storms. Um, this is not Assassin anymore, so I have to generate power charges somehow, and that's what that does. <clears throat> and then, right now, using Herald of Ice, Herald of Ash, and Blasphemy with Warlord's Mark. <clears throat> and because uh, I'm using, I'm dual wielding a sword, so I can actually use Lacerate, and then a dagger, so I can get a little bit of bonus to my spells. This one is kind of shit right now, um, going to upgrade at some point. I have this one, which is not much of an upgrade, it doesn't have the right colors right now, and it still needs spell damage on it, but I haven't worked on leveling uh, Katarina, because I hate doing the dailies for her, or even just the regular missions. So now I gotta catch up on that before I can craft some extra spell damage on this dagger, and eventually I will get a bunch of extra damage out of it. <clears throat> For now, let's just get to the fun part. Alright, so playstyle is pretty simple, not too different from the previous iteration I did on standard for testing. Um, just drop the orb of storms to get your power charges and then hit stuff and watch it explode. The AoE is absolutely fantastic. It's basically like dual wielding divi divinariuses with uh, Ah, what you might call it? God damn it, carcass jack. That's what it is. That would be forty percent, and uh, yeah, that's what Slayer provides. Um, for leveling, you can use it. Uh, don't make the mistake of using multi strike. It sucks with it. It locks you in place for way too long. I used it on my assassin and it was fine because he was just killing everything, but for leveling that's a horrible idea. Um, also, since I wasn't using cast on crit for leveling, um, I was actually using a two-handed weapon, just for some extra damage. And again, Herald of Ash and Herald of Ice, which um, right now you see the effect of Herald of Ice going off. With, uh, with boosted AoE as well, which is pretty nice. But when you're using just the attack, Held of Ash is really useful too, because <clears throat> it triggers as well. Um, it's trickier to get Held of Ice going. It's easier now, because it's also being triggered by the spells, whereas now Held of Ash is only triggered by the attack, so it's kind of rare that it actually does something. Um, I've used Hatred instead of the two, since 
I'm basically mainly scaling with physical damage because I'm using all physical spells and I'm eventually once my crit is high enough probably going to try and get the poisoning in there as well um, not really too sure where I'm ultimately going with it for now it's pretty good for the way it is and it's just you know, tons of fun seeing that crazy AoE I did make the mistake of switching to cast on crit a little bit too soon. Basically did it when I was like level 60-ish. Should have waited a bit longer because I used an Ungol's Harmony to get my crit chance up and it just wasn't it just wasn't a good idea. <clears throat> Made my damage a bit weaker. It was fine for packs, as you can see, like it, it goes off just like insane amounts per individual slash um, but I was having issues with single target stuff so getting my ascendancy points was a bit tricky and I had to rely on my totem quite a bit so that uh, drag out the fight and it was not a very fun experience and the build was good with the attack version as well <clears throat> so if you want to do something like this, I recommend that you just wait till your crit chance is much higher. Even. Just stick to the attack and don't use multi strike. I had so many embarrassing, horrible deaths because of it. That's just something that the testing didn't. Know, like, can I could have, I could have, and should have thought of it. <clears throat> it took me just way too long to realize that I fucked up just by using it. Oh, right. Just by using it, and should have gotten rid of it right away. Instead, I kept using it and dying. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I want to actually find the wall. You can see damage is kind of alright, even though it's just two spells. Oh yeah, I should mention this, I'm still using a Tabula Raz out here. Um, I haven't gotten too much currency as of now, and I got a fair amount, I found a good jewel that I sold for an exalt and used like I converted the exalt down to chaos and used like half of that to get my gear to respectable levels and your cap resists three and a half K life. Not super awesome but just about good enough to not get one shot by Merciless Izarrow. And um Yeah, not really too much more to say. I'm gonna put my conk effect in here. And let's give that guy a beating. percent culling is really nice too. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with the last two points when I actually get to the endgame labyrinth. I'm thinking maybe going for endless hunger. I don't have Val Pact right now and instead I picked up a little bit of life regen here and here. 2.6 percent and I could get another 1% here and if I do go for poison it's also convenient to pick up another 2% of life regeneration from here 
and some damage over time as well. I still have about 13 levels to go until the grind gets too horrible. I'm not gonna sh yeah, I don't know. I usually take characters up to 90 and then if the build's really good I go a little bit further but not too much. So there's a bit more physical damage I could pick up. There's uh, a bit of poison stuff not too far away. I can also go down here get the physical damage over time and the damage over time. But I am not exactly sure. This would be one option. If, if I do decide to go for the leech route here, <clears throat> I can pick up a little bit of maximum life leech rate. I could also just go for the stuns. Could be interesting. I might try both and just free spec. Who knows? That's it. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.